because it is supply across public and private that's crucial in tackling both the rental and the affordability crisis. We brought forward the Affordable Housing Act, the most comprehensive Affordable Housing Act that has ever been brought forward in this House. And not only have we done that, we've opened the Affordable Housing Fund, where we're delivering affordable homes to purchase this year, this year for hundreds of families. We'll be bringing forward our first home shared equity scheme from the 1st of July this year. That's going to help potential first-time buyers, many of whom who are stuck in a rental trap, to be able to bridge the gap between the finance that they have and the finance that they need by the state stepping in to help them by taking an equity. Uh, a scheme that the party opposite opposed and opposed vociferously and a scheme that will work for people who want to own their own home. Another scheme that members opposite oppose vociferously also is the Help to Buy grant that's helped over 30,000 individuals buy and own their own home. Uh, but inexplicably, members opposite oppose that. Uh, and that's something that we will continue to do because it's direct supports for people. What we need to do also is to resource our local authorities to build the homes that we need. And we have our plan set in place and agreed with all 31 local authorities right across the 26 counties of their housing delivery between now and 2026, both on social housing, on cost rental, affordable and on private. And speaking of cost rental, uh, we've delivered cost rental from a slow start. It did not exist. It wasn't here. We legislated for it. You supported it. There's tenants in place now, paying 50% below the market in many places, and we'll deliver hundreds more this year. Now, when I read the Sinn Féin motion, and I do genuinely thank the members opposite for tabling it, um, and now for giving the, me the opportunity to respond to it, it just speaks of dramatically increasing investment in delivery of large volume uh, of affordable cost rental. But there's no detail behind it. There's no detail in relation to the capacity to deliver. And I know it, we've got to build the capacity up in the construction sector to deliver the homes that we need. And thankfully, because of the Housing for All plan, the construction sector is back to the pre-pandemic capacity it is, and the plan itself will create at least 27,000 new jobs, and that's actually happening right now. Now, again, it mightn't suit the narrative, but it's turning in the right direction. 